Good morning, folks. It is Monday the 17th of August, and this morning we're going to read together Psalm 47. It's a short psalm, only nine verses. Let's hear what it says. Come, everyone, clap your hands, shout to God with joyful praise. For the Lord Most High is awesome. He is the great King of all the earth. He subdues the nations before us, putting our enemies beneath our feet. He chose the promised land as our inheritance, the proud possession of Jacob's descendants, whom he loves. God has ascended with a mighty shout. The Lord has ascended with trumpets blaring. Sing praises to God. Sing praises. Sing praises to our King. Sing praises. For God is the King over all the earth. Praise him with a psalm. God reigns above the nations, sitting on his holy throne. The ruler of the worlds have gathered together with all the people of God of Abraham. For all the kings of the earth belong to God. He is highly honoured everywhere. Amen. Like I say, a, a short psalm, but a very happy and uplifting psalm. Now, maybe a psalm is hard for um, Presbyterians to understand. Clap your hands. Shout to God with joyful praise. You know, quite often whenever we talk about praise, we think about how we sing. We think about um, our music in church mm. uh, and, and about how we do that. We forget about praise being the attitude even of our hearts. How it's not just what we say with our mouths. It's not just what we clap with our hands. It's not just about what instruments that we use. But that praise should involve all of our being. It's our whole attitude, our whole approach. And that we need, we should just pour that out to God. Just show him how grateful that we are for all that he has done for us. You know, it says in the end of that psalm, for all the kings of the earth belong to God. It's recognition that God is the supreme ruler. Um, it says he is highly honoured everywhere. And, you know, again, it ties in with things that Paul writes Every knee will bow and every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. And there's that recognition worldwide uh, of who God is and what God has done. But let's not just praise God with our mouths. Let's not just praise God with our attitude on a Sunday. But may our attitude every day be praise and worship to God. May we live in such a way that everything that we do is about bringing him glory and bringing him honour. Because that's what it's about. And whenever we have that joy of a relationship, then we get so much more back from God as well. Uh, it's about just the, that, the dynamics of that ongoing relationship. So let's be joyful. Let's praise God. Let's worship him. At the start of a week, now maybe we don't know what this week will hold. Um, we don't know if it's going to be a good week or a bad week. Um, but at both, one way or other, we, we just don't know. But let's approach it in the right attitude and the right way as we praise God. Let's praise him as we pray. Heavenly Father, thank you that you are God. Thank you that you are the one and only God. That everyone on this earth, every leader, king, nation, authority, bows to you because you are God. Lord, thank you that you are our Heavenly Father. and Thank you for that relationship that we can have with you. Lord, may that just bring joy to our hearts and may we want to praise you, to worship you, to have that living relationship with you. We just ask that you would help us. Help us this week. Help us through the good times. Carry us through those hard times, Lord. And in everything, we give you honour and glory, praise and worship. Father, thank you. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. Thanks, folks. God bless and I'll see you again tomorrow.